Hi guys, how's it going? It's pretty late in the day, but I need to show you what I just saw. It's pretty alarming. I'm just going to cancel all the, the lines here. And let's get rid of, uh, you know, we don't, do we need to get rid of this? All right, let's, uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Uh, we're going to get rid of some of these moving averages. Okay, great. So this is just the Bitcoin chart by itself. Oh boy. Okay, so let's go look at this. This is a bullish flag. You go up and you come back down, and then you go up again, right? You see that. This is a bearish flag. You went up, you came down, then you went up, and then you're coming down again. Now, if we look at the chart here, what are we looking at? Right? We went up, we came down, and now it looks like, it looks like we're developing a channel here, right? It looks like we're developing a channel. And this doesn't look like a great channel. This doesn't look like a wonderful channel to be in, right? I'm not super hyped to be here. Um, now, of course, drawing these lines, it's like it's a little rough. But you can see that this setup right here is very similar to this setup right here, right? This is called a bearish flag. And it's, you know, we're trading in this range, and then we break down. And that's what seems like is happening here. So we're trading in this range. And we're going to, what's likely to happen is we're likely to bounce up from here. And at some point, either we hit the top and we come down and break through, or we break through halfway down or whatever it is, and we come down. This is alarming. And these trends, you know, these trends don't always stick around forever. This is true as well. It's not like. You know, uh, if if we have this, it's like it's the be all and end all, but it is alarming, right? It is not something that uh, the, you know. I'm not holding uh, any positions right now because I'm I'm pretty nervous as to what is happening. It's you know, it's not great, not great news. Obviously, it's not like not something that we need to like uh, get into. I mean, of course, it's something that I. I mean, I, I have. I'm not. I, I. I'm not great at this line drawing business. Not that anyone is really. Like we're totally. It's like a guessing game, right? Completely guessing. I'm like, I wonder if angles have anything to do with all this stuff. But I mean, if we drew this and we copied this and we pasted this, we have two parallel lines, and we drew it down here. Then um, you know we have some. We have to go a little lower before we bounce off of this spot. So we have to go down to maybe you know thirty six eight or something. But the concerning thing here is bull market support band. Yes, we're below it, and we're going to continue to get rejected by it as we, you know, try to go up. We're going to get rejected by it. You can call that a bear market support band. But the 100 week moving average is just below this line, right? And this 100 week, if we cross below that, that's going to that's going to be problematic. So uh, let's wait and see. This this whole thing has been here since 2022, like since the beginning of the year. So it's a massive, massive bear flag. Right. So if we do jump, if we do touch here and, and bounce up, it's going to change a lot of things. If we don't, it's really going to change a lot of things, too. Right. Like what is, is this pattern going to hold? Long story short, because we had a descending, try, like descending pattern coming down this way for a long time. And this is this new pattern that's kind of come up. There's a lot of examples of this. Right. This is a, a bear flag here. And here's another bear flag. Right. Here's a very simplified version of a bear flag. Come back down and you, you know, play around. Um, but it seems like right after the bear flag is when um, it's like time to, you know, get our make our purchases. So like this bear flag breaks and maybe we do come down to 29k or whatever it is, and that's where you want to do your buys, right? Get your purchases in and then bounce. Though, if we do come to 29, we're below the 200-week moving average, which raises a lot of uncertainty, right? Like, if we cross below, are we going to go down to the 300, right? We've, it went, every time we cross below the 200, we tend to go down to the 3. Uh, anytime we cross below the 100, we tend to go down to the 200. It's a big question. I'm not sure. But let's uh, let's monitor. Let's, let's see what happens. We've been together since uh, the beginning of 2022, so let's keep an eye on this trend, and we'll see what's happening. I will talk to you guys soon.